If you decided that you were going to become successful, then you got the first start, the first step, the first beginning accomplished. All success starts with a dream, and then it is followed by a decision. A, se a decision that you're not going to try, you're going to get it done. Success is determined before you start the process of achieving it, otherwise you won't achieve it. If you try to succeed, you'll fail. Decisive decisions followed with committed actions and endured over the long haul is what gets you to your destination. There's always more to success than what you think. If it were all so terribly simple and easy to accomplish, everybody in the world would be a multimillionaire and all the success individuals would have to go find something else to do. The struggles of life are placed in front of you by your Creator to strengthen you to prepare you for greater responsibility, to teach you all the way down to the depths of your own heart and mind what it takes to make it so that you will then be qualified to teach others how to duplicate your efforts. We would all like it if you just took a pill or ate a piece of food and voila, you were successful. Oh, that'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't because you would never be strong enough to persevere after you have the knowledge and wisdom to apply. Winter, we're in the middle of it. As you can see behind me, snowflakes are falling steadily. It's cold. It's that time of the year when it's dangerous to be out. But you know, in God's creation, everything has got to live with the seasons of the year. No matter who you are, where you are, what you do, or where you live, you got to contend with the elements of life. Struggle of which is one of the greatest and most beneficial. I can't tell you how to get through something I haven't already gotten through. And neither can you tell anyone else what you're doing, unless you're doing it. So your ability to teach and train other people how to achieve success is all predicated upon your willingness to persevere, to go through the struggle, to win the battle, thereby qualifying yourself to be able to teach others. Now, I can't make you do what I want you to do, and I can't make you become successful because that's an internal, inside-out proposition. I can encourage you, and that's what I'm trying to do with this blog. But I got to tell you, unless you want to make the journey, and unless you're willing to listen and then do what you've been taught how to do, it doesn't make any difference how bad you want it, you won't have it. Success happens and then is multiplied and magnified by sharing what you've learned with other people. That's a joy, but it requires an ability to communicate the English language. That's the tough spot, because that forces you to use your brain to think, to reason, to decide. So you make a decision to become successful, and then you make the decision right by doing what's required and keep doing it until the job is done. Keep in mind you're never alone in your battle for life, for success, in your struggle through which you're now trotting. No, no, no. There's thousands upon thousands of other people that have already gone through what it is you're experiencing. Oh, I know we all, we all like to think that ours is so hard and so tough. Well, probably is. But it's already been overcome by somebody else who didn't give up. You know, I'm from the old school. I was raised under great discipline actions by a Navy chief father 
who tolerated no disobedience, no lack of respect, and no quitting before the job was done. It's a good way to die in the Navy during World War II is just complain that you were tired and you just didn't feel it was the right thing for you to do. No, that's a good way to meet a grave. My dad was tough. And I used to get so upset with him. But now I praise him and thank him with all my heart because he taught me how to be pretty tough myself. The real strength of life is between your ears. Mental toughness. I heard a man one time say, his name was Bill Britt, you can take away everything in my life except two things. Don't take my wife and don't take my mental toughness. I didn't understand that statement when he made it many, many years ago, but 42 years have come and gone, and I see exactly what he meant. That's the dangerous time. When you don't know what you're being told, you don't know why you're being told it, and you don't know how to do it. Well, that takes you to the edge of your belief system, meaning from that point forward, you have to operate on faith. You have to trust the individual is giving you the knowledge because they've earned your trust and respect. And then you have to operate in total, complete faith. Believing what you can't see and trusting in it because it's already been done by someone just like you. We're all unique in our own personal ways, and yet mankind is totally predictable. Because no matter what, human nature never changes, and it causes people to repeat like-kind performance. If you can grasp that concept of trust, which comes from the earned respect another person has with, to, and for you, then you're going to make it. I didn't know how to run a computer. I didn't know how to write. I didn't know how to do a lot of things with this website before I started. Why'd you do it then? Well, I was commanded to do it by my Lord. And to do it instead of make excuses. You know, God will give you a dream if you ask him for one and then pray with and to him until he brings it into your life. And if you'll persevere and do what's necessary to be done and continue to do it until the dream is completed, then he'll provide the help. He'll bring people into your life, most of whom you've never met, and they will assist you and help you do what you're unable to do because you don't know. That requires trust. You'll never trust a person you first don't respect. So it kind of begins with through your thoughts, deeds, words, and actions. You earn the respect of those around you through your own performance. Can you do that? Sure you can. Everybody's capable of doing it. The question is, when do you do it? And that's a decision that requires respect and trust and continued performance from the edge of your own abilities through to completion of your own dream. That's why the dream has to be personal. Nobody can dream for you. And that's why you have to trust what God told you, that if he gave you a dream, he'll give you all the ability to achieve the dream. So you just have to do the work. Could it be that four-letter word, work, 
is what really is hanging you up. Well, if it is, there's only one solution. You don't need to go to a doctor or a pharmacy. You just need to get on your knees and ask your Creator, the one who knows you better than any other person on this earth or in the heavens, to give you a mighty dream that will help you love and serve other people for the glory of your own Creator God. It's kind of foreign to you if you've never heard that before. And if you don't know how to get it all done, get with a born-again, Bible-believing Christian person whom you trust and ask him, how do I get there from where I am? I don't mean the work ethics. I mean where it all begins. Success begins in your mind. It begins with a personal thought provided to you by request from your Creator. Peace and love to all of you. Papa Bear.